we're going to do a couple of exercises today to strengthen for balance. So find yourself a sturdy chair to sit in, preferably one with arms today. And we'll start out with a few deep breaths to warm up. So let's stand up for that if you can. If you can, you can sit down. So we're going to start out, take a deep breath, reach up, and then exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And then exhale down. So we're going to reach up one more time. Inhale up. And this time we're going to reach over to the right. So both arms reach over to the right so you can look up towards the ceiling. Little stretch here through the left side body. Take a deep breath. And then exhale. Come to center. Take a deep breath and then reach over to your left. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, bring hands through heart center. So let's take a few breaths, reach up and then circle the arms around. Again, inhale, reach up and circle. And then we'll switch direction. And this way we're opening up our chest and our shoulders. One more. And then bring it back to the center. And then we're just going to gently reach and Stretch side to side, little gentle twist. So you always want to warm up a little bit before you do any of your balancing postures or your balance work, any strength work really. And then come back to the center. We're just going to bend over to our right. So nice, slow slide down your right leg. Bring it back to the center and then try the other side. And then back to center one more down the side. Back to center and other side. And then back to center. And then just bring your hands on your hips. You want your feet maybe about hip width apart. We're gonna do little circles around like you're doing the hula hoop. So warming up the hips and the torso area. And then we're gonna try to go the opposite direction. And then come back to the center. All right, let's have a seat and we're just going to warm up the hands and fingers. So move the fingers around, squeeze, stretch. We're going to circle the wrist outward and then back inward. And then shake out the arms and then bring your hands together. So we're going to draw a figure eight, keeping both hands together. And I want you to follow your hands with your eyes, but keep your head still. So you're going to take it over to the right, then across to the left, scoop it around, really trying to follow with the eyes, it's hard not moving your head. And then come back to the center and we'll switch direction. So take your hands over to the left, bring them up and around, cross over to right, one more time through. So we're making that connection with our movements and our vision. And then we're going to come back to center. All right. So if you have a towel handy, we're going to use a towel. It can be any kind of a towel, a washcloth, whatever. And you're going to step on it. So this is an exercise to help strengthen the muscles in your toes, which is really important for balancing. So we're just going to grab at this, and it's hard to do. Actually, mine's sticking to my rug here. So it's best to try to do this on a wood floor or tile floor because your towel will slide better. So you're just grabbing at your towel with your toes until you get it all bunched together. And if you get little cramps in your feet or your toes, that's okay. Just stamp it out. Okay. And then we're going to um, just stay seated nice and tall. So I'm going to put my towel on the side. And we're going to extend. We're going to do leg extension. So you want to keep your abs engaged. You're sitting as tall as you can. And we're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, extend your right leg and then gently lower it down. So we're going to do five of these. Extend and lower. 
We have three motor gathers. So this is strengthening that quadricep muscle. That's the muscle that supports your knee joint. Let's try one more like this. And then bring your foot down. And if you need to tap it out, you can. So let's try that on the other side. So we're going to raise it up and then lower it back down. Lift and lower. We have three more to go. Two more. And last one. And you can stamp it out. All right, let's try it one more time on each side. Here we go on the right side for one, two, three, four, and five. If you need to take a rest, take a rest. Otherwise, continue to your left side for one, two, three, four, and last one. And these are really great to do when you're watching TV. So if these are easy for you, you can increase the number. Or if you happen to have ankle weights, you can add an ankle weight on and that'll also make it a little bit more challenging if you need to do that. Okay, the next exercise that we're gonna do are sit to stand. So you're probably familiar with these if you've done any exercise class. So what the idea is, is we're gonna do nose over toes so that our hips are way back and we'll stand up. And then you're gonna go nose over toes, shifting the hips back and gently lower down. So we're gonna try to do five of those. If you find it to be easy, then maybe you wanna cross your arms over your chest. If it's a little bit challenging, then maybe you wanna use your arms of your chair to help you push up. Or you can just let your hands rest on your lap. You can press into your lap. So let's give that a try. We're gonna do five of those. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale, nose over toes, stand up. Nose over toes, gently sit down. Nose over toes, up. Nose over toes, sit back down. We have three more to go. Bring it up. And then gently lower back down. Last two. Now on your last one, we're going to bring it up. And then we're going to see if we can lower it down a little bit slower for five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, so again, these are things you can do while you're watching TV. You can also, um, if they're easy for you, add a few more in. Um, I recommend you try to get to do these every day to help strengthen the legs so that you have better balance. All right, we're gonna stand up next. And we're gonna, you can use your chair as your prop, or you can also, if you have a counter in your room, you can use that. Um, a wall you can stand next to. So we're going to do a hip raise. So side hip raises. You're going to start out nice and tall. Feet should point straight ahead. So we're going to bring our leg out to the side. Doesn't have to go very high. And then bring your feet back together. So we're going to again do five. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. And if you feel a little bit cramping going on, just march it out. So let's see if we can do the other side. If you wanna to go to the other side of your chair, or turn around if you're using a counter or something and face the way you can. So we're gonna start out, feet point straight ahead. Try to keep that foot, don't let it turn out. It's gonna to wanna to turn out, but you want it to stay straight. Let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Let's see if we can do those one more time on each side. Right side, here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, maybe shake it out a little bit. And we'll try the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, shake it out. Okay, um, we're gonna have a seat again for a moment. And what we're going to do is work on some ankle circles. So we're just warming up the ankles a little bit more this time. So we're going to extend our right leg. And we're going to flex and point first. Flex and point. Flex, point. Flex, point. Flex, point. One more here. Now let's circle inward at the ankle. Try just to do it from the ankle, not the hip. You can do five times one direction and then switch and go five times the other direction. And then tap it out. And we'll go to the left leg. So extend that leg and we'll flex and point away. Flex and point. Flex, point. Flex, point. One more. Flex, point. And then circle in five four, three, two, one, switch direction, five, four, three, two, and one, tap it out. All right, we're going to stand up again. Okay, so I'm going to turn my chair sideways just so you can see better, but you can stand behind your chair like this. We're going to do some heel raises, so let me turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so the Goal here, we're going to raise our heels up and lower down. You're going to hold on to your chair and you can try to lessen your holding, lessen the grip, hold a little bit lighter as you get more used to this and eventually you might be able to just hover your hands. You can do these anywhere, you can do them at your kitchen counter, at your sink, brushing your teeth. So here we go, one, we're going to do ten, two, three, four, be really gentle as you lower, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now, this is a little bit more challenging. So this time we're going to lift our toes up and bring our weight more into our heels. So you might need to hold on a little bit tighter to your chair. Here we go. One, and you want to avoid pushing your hips back. Two, look how straight my hips are. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. March it out, shake it out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to balance on one foot. So you can hold on to something while you're doing this, which I do recommend, or stand next to a wall. So let's start out. We're going to start and just lift our right leg up. So stand as tall as you can, and it really helps if you engage your core. That will help you with your balance a little bit. You can hold your knee up in front, or maybe it's easier for you to bring your foot behind you. And maybe just in your mind count to 10 when that gets easy then you can change it up and you can count to 20 and keep advancing that way so let's try the other leg and we'll actually count this time so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right now to progress if you found that to be pretty easy then you can progress. If not, stick with that. But the progression would be a modified, what we call bird dog. So what you would do in that case is you're going to reach forward with your left arm and then your right leg's going to come straight back. i got to move forward because I'm going to kick my wall. So you're going to move it right back like that. And you want to try to keep yourself so that your hips are squared to the floor. So you don't want your body to be twisted. You want to keep your belly square to the floor and then bring it back up. Okay, and let's try it on the other side. So you can balance on whatever is near you. 
get a chair or something, and we'll extend our right arm forward. And the left leg's going to reach back and our belly is square to the floor. And we're trying to reach one way through our fingertips and the other way through our foot, nice and long, and then come back up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is some hand-eye coordination. So I know you're probably stuck in your house, but look around and see what you can use maybe. I have a bag of rice here, I have some beans here. When I teach this class, we use tennis balls and bean bags, but since I didn't have that, I had to improvise. Um, you could get a sock and put some pennies or something in it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna toss and catch, toss and catch with one hand. So I'll use my rice. So here we go. We're gonna do it 10 times with the right. One, two, and you can do these seated as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm gonna switch and try it with my left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if you have um, another person with you, you can toss it to them. They can, you can throw with your right and they can catch with their right. Or you could switch it out with yourself, toss with one hand and catch with the other. Maybe you'll get good enough that you can add something else and start your juggling career. Okay, but this is just good. Hand-eye coordination is going to help you with your balance. So that's why we're doing this. Um, if you did have a ball, like a tennis ball or a small ball, you could bounce it with one hand, bounce and catch. And then you could bounce with one and catch with the other. So just different exercises to kind of shake it up and work your balance a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead now and have a seat. And we're just going to stretch out a little bit. Let me move my seat back. So we're going to extend both legs out in front. Actually, let's just do our right leg. So let's extend our right leg. Your left foot is flat on the floor with your knee bent. And you're just gonna walk your hands down as far as it feels comfortable for you and hold here, nice stretch through the low back, through the hamstrings. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, slide up and we'll switch and we'll stretch that other leg out. So left leg's long, right leg, knee is bent and your foot's flat on the floor and just slide down and breathe. And then slide back up. So let's do a little bit of a spinal twist. We're gonna just turn and look to your right so you can grab the back of your chair with your right hand and your left hand can hold on to the side of your leg or you can grab the arm of your chair and just look up and over your right shoulder and that should feel nice through the torso and the back. And then we're gonna swing around to the other side. So holding on with your right hand to the back, I mean with your left hand to the back, right hand is either on the side of your leg or holding onto the arm and just look over that left shoulder, twisting, breathing. Oh, that feels good. And then come back to the center and we'll work, roll our shoulders back a couple of times. Come back to center and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Let all that tension seep away and then bring it back to center and other side. And then back to center. Let's take one more inhale, reach it up. And then exhale, hands through heart center to your lap. Thank you for spending your time with me and I hope you better balance and a happy day. Thank you.